Well, this game kind of defines how our whole season has gone the whole year. Um, Kansas 83, Texas 73. Um, you know, the first half, I got the first part of the first half, I've got to say that's some of the best I've seen Texas play all season. Uh, really has, uh, especially Damian James, who seemed like for some reason he couldn't miss anything. Uh, and, you know, we all have to talk about him. I want to see him go inside. He had a legit perimeter game in the first half. Like, he was killing everything. And, you know, the guy, everything looked fluid, everything looked crisp. This was the kind of team I'm expecting all season. Uh, but then second half comes around and we hit our dud spot. We hit our slow spot. And, and Kansas, who is a very good team and, and too good of a team to hit one of those, beats us. Um, now, Kansas fans and Texas fans, I think this is the kind of game that we always have when we play Kansas least lately. Uh, Texas gets up big or, or gets up a, a good amount. And then KU ends up breaking at the end and winning the game. Um, no different uh, today. It didn't matter what kind of team we bring in or what kind of team they have. Uh, this time we brought in a very inconsistent team. They brought in a very young but very good team. And they deserve to win. Um, you know, Sharon Collins killed us. Alders killed us underneath of the boards. It's just, it, but it's hard to point out a point where, where Texas really lost it. Uh, and I think what really hurt us was, one, uh, Damian James getting into foul trouble. And, you know, Barnes set James in the second half because he had three fouls. And I understand that because you don't want to foul out. But at the same time, he got cold. He after, Once he came in, about five minutes left in the game, he lost his shot, lost his confidence to shoot the ball, and, and lost <laughs> lost the ability to shoot the ball. And I think it, it, in that situation, personally, you just got to bite the bullet and say, you know what, we're going to keep going with this guy. He's got the hot hand. If he fouls out, he fouls out because if he had fouled out earlier, he would have been probably just as effective as he was when he came back in. He had four points in the second half, all of them free throws, no field goals. Another guy who really struggled, and he really struggled all game, was A.J. Abrams, and he's been Mr. Inconsistent. Uh, really, there's some games where he's as clutch as he, as he should be, and then there's like today where he, he, can't, he can't hit anything. But not only not be able to hit shots, uh, just turning the ball over. I, I, don't, I don't know. This team... This team, if you watch them, if you watched all of them all this year, you see signs of brilliance. You see signs of competitiveness where you're like, this team can do it. This team can compete at a high level. But rarely do you see it for a whole 40 minutes. Um, you know, Doge, Doge is still you know, running the ball through Doge is our best bet. And he's been doing a great job. Gary Johnson being back was huge. Uh, just to have some points off the bench, you know, he – you know when he was when he was hurt this past couple games, those were points that we were left left there on the bench because he he's good for it. You know lately he's been one of our most consistent uh, elbow shooters. So now we got the Big Twelve tournament coming up, and we go in after a loss at Kansas, and, and losing at Kansas is not. Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed about that. That's their forty first game in a row uh, to win in Lawrence. Um, you know, and I gotta give credit to Kansas because you know before the conference started, uh, I felt they'd be competitive, but you know they lost all their starters last year. Very young team. I thought they'd be competitive, but not on the same level as Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, and, and but look what happens. They won the Big Twelve uh, regular season title outright. Uh, that's a credit to Bill Self and his recruiting, the culture they've created there at Kansas, and the guys stepping up. You know, Sharon Collins being that leader. And uh, you know what's scary is they're a young team that's already good. Uh, <laughs> number one thing is that they're young, so they'll be bringing guys back. So. Watch out for Kansas for years to come, as, as you always should. So, congrats to Kansas. Now we have the Big 12 tournament. Uh, Texas is a five seed, what I've seen last, um, playing Colorado. You know, I, I, I want to say that Texas is going to win the tournament, but right now Texas is not playing, like, not, not just a March Madness tournament team, but any kind of a tournament because we're so off and on. You know, we may win. We may blow Colorado out, and then we play Kansas State and get beat, or vice I mean, you know, we're not play, we don't play enough consistent basketball to win any kind of tournament. And until we get that, we're not going to. And, um, you know, I think we're, it's a little too late now. <laughs> I mean, we're, it's here. Tournament time is here now. And so, you know, I hope this team can, can, uh, can put it together. I, is this team capable or, you know, talented enough to uh, win the Big 12 tournament? Yes. Will they? I don't see it. Um, but will I be cheering for them? Will I expect it once, once I see the games on? Of course I will. I'm a fan. Um, 
but the team's got to find consistency. Got to find some kind of an identity. And and I, I keep saying that, I keep preaching that. It's like I'm a broken record, uh, but we don't. We don't have an identity. I thought we found it today. Uh, it looked like we did in the first half, uh, but you know we lost at the end. It was back and forth in the second half. We played great defense, I thought, but uh, offensively we got we we uh, we struggled, and uh, then it broke open for Kansas. So, congrats, KU. Uh, for winning the Big 12 championship, you are the Big 12 champion, uh, and uh, now we got the Big 12 tournament. See if we can make some noise there, and if fate would have it, if we get into March Madness, then uh, we'll see what we can do there. We got to find some consistency, got to find an identity, and just got to play better basketball. But still, hook 'em horns. <laughs>